Hey guys, it's Jody. Today I am starting to work on a new Starburst Shortcake project in my Starburst Shortcake room, which is coming along, but still needing some work. Um, if you joined me, I put out a video a while back, maybe a couple of months ago, where I completely refurbished my jewelry shelf so if you haven't seen that video i'll put a link up here where you can um, go and watch that one and today i'm going to start working on my shelf here this is actually a toy box but i have all my sheets and fabric and stuff displayed here well not all of them the this whole inside is filled with them too but um i want to make it a cute display here so you can actually see some of them and it doesn't look like a mess it hasn't been as much of a mess as this i tried to i took a couple of things out and was looking at something so it looks even a little more disheveled than usual but um i did some measurements and i decided i wanted to have three rows here and so they're going to be um, basically this size. So I cut a cardboard that I could use to fold around it. And I want like some something cute to be seen at the fold. So that's what I'm going to be working on. But while I'm doing that, I wanted to kind of open these up and show you what the different designs are that, that you could have found on sheets. And also, hopefully, maybe I'll find some um, duplicates that I could put on my eBay store if you guys want any of those. Um, but for now, I just want to pull stuff out. I'll show you some of the cute designs. And hopefully, I can get started on making this look a lot better. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the stuff we have here. This is actually it's just a piece of fabric. Super cute. It's not vintage. This came out, let's see if there's a date. This has 2004. And I've actually seen people recently that were able to find this. So this um, was from Joanne Fabrics. And they may even have it again now, I guess. But um, yeah, really cute. This is a small section. Um, I believe I had some pants or something made out of this. I don't think I have them anymore, but um, cute little fabric. This, let's see. This is a pillowcase. Pillow sham, actually. That has kind of seen better days. It's kind of yellowed but you can see it kind of has the sham around it the sham wow <laughs> so i'll probably put this in the wash and see how it comes out hopefully it'll look a little nicer on the back it's just this strawberry print and let's see it says start each day with a smile it's the very best way to start the day cute this, I believe, was a sheet at one time. I probably picked it up this way. Um, I'm going to turn you this way a little bit. I probably picked it up this way. You can see someone was maybe planning to make something out of it. They used pinking shears along the edge. But uh, this is one of my favorite designs of sheets. Oops, it's backwards. It has lemonade. It has cafe au lait and burrito and of course strawberry and custard it's kind of hard to show you these really big designs um we've got cherry cuddler there and almond tea it's a really good one. Oh, and here let me show you this one house with mint tulip and apricot and butter cookie and jelly bear oh no jelly bear i guess just butter cookie 
And then there's like random little pits around. There's marshmallowed, rhubarb. Oh, here's lime chiffon. So that's a cute one. And this is um, once a sheet turned to fabric. So this is actually a curtain, you can see at the top. Um, and this design is actually one of the earlier designs. This is actually a lot brighter than you usually see it. The sheets are usually a lot lighter than this, but this um, is actually a curtain. And look at that um, Huckleberry Pie there. Fishing by Big Sunday Mountain. I mean, come on. There's Strawberry's house. Little swing with plum pudding. This is another very early design that has plum pudding and strawberry shortcake at Strawberry Market on there. There's a great early image of Raspberry Tart. There's Apple and Tea Time Turtle. Strawberry and Huckleberry going across a little bridge. I love the rainbows on this, very early 80s. So I have the fitted sheet and the flat sheet for that set. So this is uh, another kind of similar early design where you have Plum Puddin' and the pets. Here's a Raspberry Tart. And blueberry muffin, apple dumpling, and huckleberry pie down there with pup cake. And here is another pillowcase. This is the one that would match the set from that curtain I showed you earlier. And remember how I said the curtain, um, the curtain was uh, very bright colors. The sheets are a lot closer to this, usually, a more faded pastel -y look. And it could be from wear, and you just don't find them much. But I found ones that look pretty new, and they still have this kind of faded coloration. Now, this is a much harder to find design. It's almost like a cross stitch. You can see kind of the cross stitch design around it. Friends are the berries. This one has lime chiffon on it. And again, we have butter cookie and jelly bear. We've got orange blossom over here and huckleberry pie. Cherry Cuddler. She's kind of a rare character to be on sheets. Angel Cake. Lemon Meringue. So this is a, a pretty good, pretty good and hard to find design. This is, I think uh, somebody actually gave this to me. It was their, um, tooth fairy pillow from when they were little that, you know, their mom or grandma made for them. And it says, put your tooth in this little place and put a smile on the tooth fairy's face. 
Can you see that? So I thought that was pretty cute. Here's another design. Um, it's almost the same as some of the other ones, but just it has this border around it, which makes it slightly different. The pets on the back. And then here we have another pillow sham. I believe we've already seen the, sh the sheet design with this. Um, I love the scenes where they're like eating sundaes and ice cream and uh, candies and stuff like that. Those are some of my favorite scenes. And then you can see the strawberry fabric around the sham edge for these. And then it's just white on the back. Um, this is actually not a sheet at all. It is um, a bed cover. It's not a comforter because it's just um, you can kind of see it's thin. It has this big design with Mr. Sun on it. And then it says, love is a warm and cozy friend. You see that? It's really hard to show you these big ones. I've got some of the butterflies there. You can just, you know, I can hear the, like the little sound effect from the special when they have the butterflies flying by, you know, you know what I'm talking about? Lots of pilling on this, lots. And then it's some of those same designs from the other, from the curtains I showed you. But these are just a lot larger in scale. So I had a pillowcase, I think I showed you with these designs on it. But there's a, a little bit of a different escargot there. And I also have some of the um, cut and sew doll fabric. So I have all my fabric stuff over here, I guess. But these are from like the cut and sew dolls that your grandma would make you. And I have a strawberry shortcake one, which apparently I paid $2 for. That's some kind of sale. I'll take that label off. You see her front and back. Okay, so this is actually large. Apparently I paid a dollar ninety nine for this one at Goodwill. At some point. It's like a wall hanging. Somebody has um, embroidered the edges there. So it's a big strawberry with strawberry on it. And you just hang it up on the wall as a decoration. That's funny if people have that much wall space. <laughs> Not me. I think it's funny. A good friend of mine is a minimalist and she likes to comment about it on Facebook. And I just made a comment on one of her things that she thought was really funny. I wrote, um, I think I'm more of a maximalist. <laughs> yeah, she thought that was a true statement, that I was a maximalist. <laughs> so this, I guess, is the back side. And I must have the front side somewhere. But these are cut and, the cut and sews, but these are a lot smaller than the ones that I just showed you. About half the size. Here's the sheet, uh oh, it wasn't here with them, um, of, again, some more of the cut and sews that are the pets, including Lucky Bug. And then there's their backsides. This one is Christmas placemats. So it says strawberry shortcake, holiday placemats. And 
it again is one of these cut and sew fabric panels here that your grandma would make for you so you have strawberry with the candy cane here in like a wreath and then you would add your own fabric so this is actually a set of four of them you'd add your own fabric on the back um, and make little fabric um, placemats Oh yeah, it's a long curtain. Okay, <laughs> I was like, this is weird. So this is a curtain. And let's see, have we already looked at this pattern? I feel like we have. No, the bundled up sheets I was gonna show you. I didn't show you had this pattern. So um, this is the same pattern as the bundled up sheets. It kind of has a strawberry, a vine going all the way around it and then some of your similar scenes raspberry tart and these is kind of looking more like her regular doll self here we've got orange blossom and blueberry and then the butterflies are marmalade and like marmalade like butterflies Um, oh, that's a that's a cool scene. Strawberry on flitter bit. So this is actually a long curtain. So um, there's like a a spot for your curtain rod here. And then if you had um, probably to the floor curtains, got a little staining on it. But what are you gonna do? Nothing's perfect. Oh, and this must be the other side, other side of that same curtain. Cool. And then this, I folded this. I hate to open this because I got it folded perfect, but I will. Also has a strawberry vine, but this is a little different from the last one because it's mostly like in squares. And this is actually an early early patterns. I really like this because they're kind of in front of a little arbor here. You got plum pudding there. So that's a fun one. And then here I've got a towel, which is not old. Got Mr. Sun on it and strawberry. This came out, you can see custard there, sometime in the early 2000s. Uh, let's see if it's got a tag. And I mean, look at the the logo there. You can tell it came out at least after 2004 because it uses. The newer logo and then I have two blankets which also probably came out in the 2000s and they're like they're like baby blankets little fleece baby blankets but in the vintage style that one and then this one same repeating pattern all over it. These are really cute. I like these a lot. And then this is a handmade item from some fabric, but you can tell it's like somebody made it to fit their car seat. So it's actually just Huckleberry Pie on the fabric with the pets, with custard, and I believe I saw Pup Cake. Yeah, Pup Cake's in there too but you can see the little openings they made to like fit on a car seat so and they put like rickrack around it so that's pretty cute um this is some more of the fabric this is actually vintage fabric and i have a strawberry shortcake dress that my mom made me when i was four or five that has this fabric Here's another of the vintage fabrics. 
it's just repeating pattern of strawberry. Super cute. Here's another piece of fabric. Um, this is vintage, 1980. You can see there, Starry Shortcake American Greetings. And a lot of people ended up using this to make like um, pillows. They would, you know, cut around this and make pillows. You find those handmade pillows quite a bit made out of this. And here's a little bitty piece of some like kind of checkered. It's got uh, the rickrack printed on there. And I had a few things made out of this when I was little. Just a little tiny piece of it. Here's another version of that white one that I showed you before. Same exact thing, just a, just a pink background instead of the white. And then this is some more of the vintage fabric. It's um, mostly this pink and white gingham with the strawberries on it, but then it has a border which this would make the cutest skirt, wouldn't it? Oh my gosh. Oh, is it enough to make a skirt here? Probably not. Dang. Because look how cute that would be. To make like a full skirt. Oh, so cute. And, ooh, the last item up there was is this sheet. And then I had a couple more things. This was like a wall hanging or possibly something to make a crib blanket out of. And then I had a couple of really fun towels. I love this one. It's more like a beach towel than a bath towel with a tea time turtle there swimming around. And then this actually looks a lot like some of the kitchen towels that you can get, but definitely as big as the size of a bath towel. And then this is one of the new style that someone had given me a bath towel. I like that she's drinking a fun summer drink there. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is done. How do you think it looks? So much better, right? I tried, it has a lot of folding, you guys, a lot of folding. I tried to fold everything so that you could see somebody's face or yeah, pretty much somebody's face that one has the berries to market berry market um sign but the rest of them trying to see like the pattern this is mr sun or someone's face so one more project down and one billion more to go because All right, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.